This video is going to show you how to repair a layout's broken and missing images. I've split the video into four parts depending on what kind of broken images you're fixing since they all have different solutions. If all or most of the images on your layout are broken, I recommend to copy the CSS code to Notepad Plus, which is a free app you can download off Google. You don't have to, but I recommend it because it makes it easier. After that, scroll down in your CSS until you find a background image URL code and parentheses. In Notepad Plus, they'll be underlined so they're easy to find. Copy or cut the image link in the parentheses and paste it into the Wayback Machine website as I do here. On Wayback, it should lead you to an earlier copy of that image. Usually they're found via the blue links. You need to download that image. You might have to also click on the snapshot links or open them in a new tab too. Now if Wayback doesn't work, try Google Images to find the old copy or try to remake the images for the layout in Photoshop or GIMP as I have a lot of videos on making banners and wallpapers on this channel. Now upload the image you got to Imgur for a new image link. Make sure you log in and go to your images page first. Then upload the image to your images page and copy the direct link. Paste that direct link into the parentheses from earlier in, in your layout code where you copied or cut the original broken link. You'll have to repeat this with every background image code in the broken CSS, particularly if they're tiny pick or Dropbox links or some other broken image link which can come from anywhere. We'll fast forward here, and again, instead of reusing the old images, you could just replace them with new images you download or made. In this layout, I'm going to skip the cursor images since I know they're not broken, but all the tiny pick links are broken, so I'll fix and replace all those links now with what I just showed you. When done, paste the repaired CSS from Notepad into your CSS edit box and replace the old code with it. Then save the repaired CSS. And just like that, we've repaired the background images on the layout. There is one error here, which we'll fix. You might have errors due to skipping a broken tiny pick or Dropbox link on accident, or you deleted a parentheses or quotation on accident, which you need to add back. I'll fix it now. Adjust your list settings on this tab in case there's still problems with the list table. And here's a tip to really speed things up. Instead of downloading the image, you can copy it and then paste it into your Im Im images page to upload it automatically.
Now, if there's only one image or a few images to fix, the problem is that somewhere in your CSS, there's a dead or broken link. You can try to find it in your original CSS. Just look for tiny pick or Dropbox links and fix them with the Wayback method I showed you earlier. If you still can't find where the broken link is at in your layout, then open the layout up in Firefox and use Inspect Element to track down the broken image as I do here. Now we know where the selector code is that has the broken link. We can repair it with the method I showed you in the last steps or replace it with a new image. For preview pics, the first thing you want to make sure is that you have the images box checked on your list tab and then save it. Now for both classic and modern layouts, you also need to use the latest public preview pick imports, which I have a whole topic on. I'll link you to it under the video. But first, try to erase the old cover pick import at the top of your CSS if you know where it is, but that's not always necessary. And then afterwards, paste a new one from our topic that corresponds to your CSS. If you don't know which one to paste, you can sample one at a time until you find the right one that adds preview picks to your layout. There's alternate preview pick replacement imports as well, and other apps for replacing cover picks you can try linked via that same topic. With top bars on classic list layouts, I might have another version of the top bar in a thread, which I'll link you to under the video, and you can copy one of those working top bar codes to your CSS. There's also customizable icon top bars, which you can recolor so they match the original layout's top bar color theme. And by the way, if a broken top bar is in a Dropbox link, then you have to open the Dropbox link in another tab, like I do here with this, to view the CSS. You can copy it to Notepad Plus and repair it as I did with the layouts earlier in the video. And now after adjusting our list settings with the layout we've been repairing, we've restored the entire layout to its original look. If you have any questions, please ask in our club.